Hope everybody's had a good day today. Um, <coughs> I didn't make a video yesterday. I just kind of got tied up doing other things. I didn't know if I showed you the other day that I got a extension or an extension wand for my pressure washing. And there it is, the yellow pole. And that will allow me to get higher on houses, like doing siding and stuff. Um, and today, what I had to get was this piece here. It's what goes on the end of the pole, and it goes to the belt so that I can put it around my waist and actually support it with this clamp. So I had to go get that today. So I was doing that, and I also got some camping stuff because we're probably going to go camping Thursday. We may actually just do a cabin deal, but we're not sure yet. But I was sitting here messing with some camping stuff, uh, fire starters and things. I got a new fire starter here for Christmas. <clears throat> and all it does, I think, it may have some magnesium in it, but I really just think it's just flint in general. But it sparks, you just hold down and it'll spark. Let's see if I can make it do it, hold on. Well, no, there it goes. But anyway, you hold it to the ground and that's how it works. And I was also, if I can get that back, messing with another little thing I've got. Let me get it out here. Hold on just a second. Put it right there. <clears throat> it's a magnesium strip. If you've ever seen them at outdoor stores, they've, even Walmart's got them. I think I got this in at Walmart, but it's, uh, as far as I know, just a magnesium strip. You shave off, which is shiny now. It was kind of dingy like that. It wasn't as dingy when I got it, but shave off the magnesium here. <clears throat> and when you actually spark it on the flint, it'll burn. So you just take, you know, your knife or I, I've been using a razor blade just to see if it worked, but you just shave it off here into a pile and then you'll spark it like that. What I was figuring out, which I already knew it, is uh, you can also use for a fire starter is uh, steel wool. I got some, oh, it's right here. I put some in there. But what I was thinking <clears throat> was I'd seen where you could take like a nine volt battery and stick it on there. You could also use this. Uh, any kind of little spark or like not steel wool in just a second and I thought you know if you're in the middle of the woods and you've got a little mag light I don't know how how low of a battery you can do it with but this one is one of the kind of bigger mag lights it uses two I think C batteries no D batteries and I thought you know I wonder if I could put put it end to end and make a connection and see if it'll spark just like using a nine volt where you just kind of touch the two prongs um because you can kind of, if you take a uh, 9-volt, you can kind of stick it to your tongue and see if it's actually got any power to it. So, um, I tried it a minute ago with two of them to kind of get a little more power. But I thought, um, it's a little foggy on my phone here. Can I fix it and see if it's any better? No, not really. I just kind of smeared it even more. <clears throat> what I was going to do, i tell you what I'll do. i just turn the light off. There we go. And what I did, I'm going to set you... I don't know. Whoop. Let's see if I can set it up here. This is going to be like an intuitive. Uh, I don't like that. Let's see about a better spot. Let's see if I can set you up here, maybe. Just show you a little better. I may try to edit some of it out so that way it won't be as bad. But anyway, you can take this steel wool. Just to, I just unraveled it a little bit. You can leave it bundled up. It actually makes coals on the inside. And so when you do that, <clears throat> you can set it in a fire and start it real quick. I just thought, you know, if you're out in the woods, you got a piece of steel wool and, you know, everything's wet and you can't really get nothing to burn, take your battery out of your um, flashlight. But what I ended up doing was I took two of them, <clears throat> stretched it across, because it didn't seem to work with me either. I put it on the other end end to end and it sparked up oh, there it went because you got to get enough on there that it actually burn make your connection with the two batteries of one end set it on the negative and then there you got a flame so once you make the connection with the two you can sit there and that thing will burn like crazy I just hit my <laughs> my propane tank I don't want to get burned Ow. see so there they are they're burning there so you can tell that it really 
once it starts up, if it hits any wind or anything, like it just did, this stuff will blow out. Nope, don't get it, Rosie. Rosie! The dog's wanting to get it. But anyway, I was doing that, and I just, I, I don't know how many people know that that can be done, and uh, I just thought it was neat and was doing it, and I thought, you know, I don't know why I've never had steel wool with me when I'm camping, because I knew it did that. Um, I'd found that out a long time ago. And, but like I said, any kind of spark, even from flint, just striking it on a, uh, from a knife or something, just one little spark will ignite it and it goes. Cause right there, it took me a second cause I had to get both batteries. Um, just, I, it may work with one. It just may take a long time. I don't know. But sitting them two, once I got it connected and it, you know, got, make a good enough connection that I actually hit, I mean, it ignited immediately. So anyway, <clears throat> make sure you carry still will we if you go camping so uh i'm gonna get back to work i was just kind of looking through my camping stuff and i just did that and i, I thought well, i'll make that as the vlog today since i was messing around and it's usually not real eventful so i like fire and flame so um uh, it just seemed <clears throat> seemed the best idea so anyway hope you had a good day today and i will see you again tomorrow